Hello! Today I want to talk about something wildly, wildly unpopular and equally important. It's funny how that goes hand in hand. I want to talk about where your notes are on your ukulele fretboard. What? Can you handle the excitement? Um, a couple of things I want to just go over really quick. There are seven notes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then it starts over. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Um, also important, but not as covered, I guess, in this lesson, sharp and flat. And I will talk about those in a minute. Okay, so now that we have a general idea of what the notes are, I want you to grab a writing utensil. This is a crayon. That's what I used, so you can only go up from there. Get out a piece of paper, and I want you to write this down. A, then make a space. B, C, make a space, or what I like to do is just go to the next line. Right under A, D, space. E, F, space, or go to the next line. G, space, A, oh, G, there you go, space. And then we start over. A, space, B, C, space, D, space, E, F. So you're going to notice a couple of things here. You can just keep going, and as long as you kind of follow this, A, D, and G, they're going to be separate. A, D, G. B and C are going to be together, always. E and F are going to be together, always. So, what am I talking about? Grab your ukulele or whenever. So here's your frame of reference. We have, in standard tuning, your top string or your bottom string, however you see it. It's technically the first string. Um, this is an open A note. That is an A. Then E, then C, and then G. Okay? G, C, E, A. A, E, C, G. So if we start on the A string, and we follow picture, we have A, space, B, C, space, D, space, E, F, space, G, space, A. Now, a starts again on the 12th fret. It's just an octave higher. Okay? Your 12th fret's this magical fret where everything starts over. It's New Year's. Um, it's actually, it's the center of between your bridge and, yeah, same distance from here to here as it is from your nut to here, from the, yeah, the top. There you go, a little trivia. Okay, so following the same rule, let's do the E. So we have E, E and F are together, E, F, space, G, space, A, space, then B, C, space, D, space, E, oh, and then we're on the 12th fret, E, F. There you go. C space, D, space, E, F, space, G, space, A, space, B, C, and then we're back to C. Top string, G, space, A, space, B, C, space, D, space, E, F, space, G. Twelfth, twelfth fret. So there you go. That's just kind of where your notes are 
between an open string and the 12th fret. And then once you get to the 12th, you get to start over. So, although I don't see a lot of playing up here on the ukulele, sometimes, but not, not often. Um, I also mentioned I talk about sharps and flats. So let's just go over that really quick. So as your frets kind of are situated, so where I was saying a space, that's the sharp and the flat zone, okay? So like if you go back to just your open A, instead of space, this is the space between A and B. So this is either an A sharp, sharp basically just means a half a step up, or a B flat, which is half a step down. Flat is half a step down. And they look like a little number or this little, it looks like a little B, but it's a little different. So there you go, sharp flats. Um, yeah, and so there you go. If you, well, I don't know. Practice that a lot. Just remember, B and C and E and F are always together. A, D, and G are always separate. Practice and just call out the notes. The more you know your notes, the better off you're gonna be. Trust me. And also, yes, I recognize it's not popular.